Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Realme Band 2 with the Realme Link app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately, we have Realme Band 2, and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the Play Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. Here we have the Realme Link app which we have already downloaded, and now we're going to connect it to go inside and see how to connect it with our watch. You should also turn on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and your GPS, so you can do this process easier. Inside the app and home you've got a plus button where you can add devices, so we're going to click on it, and it's going to start scanning for nearby devices. You can also connect it by scanning the QR code on your watch with the scanner on the top right, and as you can see here, we have the QR code, and as we scan it, it will start to connect with our watch. First, it's going to ask to accept the PIN so it can bind with your phone. And after you've accepted you'll be paired successfully. Then it's going to ask to accept the service agreement and privacy policy, so we're going to agree and after that we will be set and ready to go inside and see some of the options inside. The first option we can see is face gallery where we can change the profile or face of our watch, which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces, with different categories, and you can choose whichever you like best, and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves. To download one, you need to store it first to our downloaded faces which can be up to 5 faces, and if you already have 5 you need to change it with one of the faces you've got already. After we've done so, we can download it, and then it will change our watch face immediately. Next, we've got call reminder which we can leave it on or off. After that we've got notification which will ask for permission to enable, and you also need to turn it on in your settings, so it can send you notifications on your watch, it will also ask to access your contacts, to make and manage phone calls and access your phone log. After that you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications, and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use, and what notifications from, or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Next, we've got tiles which can change the widgets on your watch based on which ones you want to be shown. After that we've got the apps option where we can add or remove the apps inside your watch. This works with the apps it already has inside, and you can also rearrange the apps however you want. As you can see after we've changed it we can see the apps that we've put, and the order we've set. Next, we've got alarm where you can add any alarm that you want. You can label them however you want and make them repeat if you need them on weekdays, weekends, or every day. Next up we have event reminder where we can set any reminder for any event we want and set the date, time, and if you want to repeat it. After that we've got health reminder settings where you have goal reached reminder, sedentary reminder which allows you to make reminders to stand up and move around every once in a while, also drinking reminder which allows you to set reminders to drink water and 24 hour heart rate monitoring. Next, we have more functions, and in the end, we've got the user guide which tells us how to use the app, device update which shows if you need any updates to your model, also MAC address and legal information. Now let's go and see some of the health monitoring options. 
but first it shows that our device needs an update, but we're going to leave that for later, but you always want to be up to date with current models so your watch and the app can work better. Inside health monitoring you can track every activity you have done while wearing your watch and other health data like workout, sleep, heart rate, SpO2, pressure, period tracker and steps where you can see all the data which your watch has sent and gathered from monitoring you. After that we've got mail and explore and last on the end you've got your profile, where you have your messages, your orders, your profile and settings where you can go into account and security settings, personalization settings, unit settings and others that you can change however you prefer. You can also click on your profile to change your information. So, this is pretty much it on the Realme Link app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use, and it works really well. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.